Hey everybody in Books Are Magic Land, it's me, Gabriel Balkin, and I'm here to talk to you about one of my books. Can you guess which one it might be? If you did not guess this, then we need to have a talk about your observation skills. That's right. We're here to talk about a book called Whose Bones. It's an animal guessing game, and I wrote it with the help of some of my friends that I'm gonna tell you about in just one minute. So, I hope you have something, some place comfortable to be, like inside of a reading tent, and that you've got something to draw with, like maybe a stack of index cards you stole from your daughter's backpack. And you also need something to draw with, like a Sharpie, or two, or three. Because today, we're gonna guess animals, and we're gonna draw animals. And even though I recorded this probably weeks before you'll ever see it, I will know if you're not drawing, so you better draw. So, as I said, my name is Gabriel Balkin, and I wrote this book. You can see the proof is right here on the cover. That's my name, Gabriel Balkin. Proof, I wrote it. And it was illustrated by Sam Brewster, and you know I'm telling the truth because his name is right there too. And if you still need more proof, proof, go ask anyone at Fiden who published the book. And um, you spell Fiden with a PH, not an F, so that'll get you in the door. Um, ask them and they will tell you, yes, we worked really hard with our editor, Maya, to make sure that this book was accurate, beautiful, and hopefully kind of fun. Um, that'll be up to you. So get ready to guess. Whose Bones? An animal guessing game by me, Gabriel Balkin. Pictures illustrated by Sam Brewster. I wish Sam were here today inside my reading tent, but he's off somewhere drinking tea in London because, you know, Sam's always drinking tea. All right, take a look at these bones. Whose bones? These bones! The Tyrannosaurus Rex had enormous bones. Now, find the house mouse. Does she have bones? Yep, tiny house mouse bones. Bones can tell you a lot about an animal. Let's look. Whose bones are these? These are human bones, like yours. Every bone in your body has its own special name and all together they make up your skeleton. So let's find some of these bones. Uh, touch your soft ear. Is that a bone? No, but touch your hard skull, that is a bone. And if you're reading along with me at home, you may notice that I'm saying different words that are actually in the book. But uh, you try recording a video inside of a reading tent and see how easy it is. Um, anyway, back to the book. Whose bones are next? Whose bones are these? My skeleton starts with my head just like yours. The bones in my head make up my skull. My hard skull protects my soft brain. Thanks, skull. I swim through the ocean with long flippers. Thick blubber helps my enormous body float. I am not a penguin. Who am I? Hmm, who swims in the ocean? Penguins do. Oh. But we already know it's not a penguin. She told us so herself. My uncle Walter swims in the ocean, but uh, his skull is not quite this big. Uh, walruses swim in the ocean, but you know what I learned about walruses? They have back legs. I had no idea. So no back legs on this baby. So it's gotta be something else. Uh, did any of you draw anything? You want to hold up your drawing and pretend that we can go back in time and I can see it through the telephone and know that you drew? Oh, thanks for playing along. I was hoping somebody would. I wonder if any of you drew the same thing that Sam drew. A blue whale. My skull is so big I could eat a pickup truck, but I don't. I open my mouth wide to eat tiny sea creatures called krill. Now you open your mouth wide and take an imaginary bite. Whose bones are next?
whose bones are these? I have a really long neck. It's longer than your entire body. The bones in my neck are called vertebrae. Vertebrae help me look up and down. You know, my editor, Maya, at Fiden, she wanted me to say my vertebrae also helped me look side to side, but I refused. I live in the African savanna where it is hot, hot, hot. My legs and tongue are long too. I am not an ostrich. So what do you guys think? Any guesses? I mean, Sam made it pretty clear what this animal is. And other than an ostrich, I can't think of a single animal that has a long neck, can you? Did any of you draw something that looks like this beauty? A Somali giraffe? So there's tons of giraffes out there in the world, but I chose a Somali giraffe to write about because they are the biggest. And if you are looking at a bunch of giraffes together, you can tell the difference between the different types of giraffes based on their patterns. They're slightly different colors and slightly different shapes. It's pretty interesting. And uh, no two giraffe has the same pattern on their body. It's kind of like a human fingerprint or a dog's nose. Probably human nose too. I am a Somali giraffe. I use the long vertebrae in my neck to reach the top of a tree. Use your vertebrae to roll your head around and around and around. Feels good, doesn't it? Whose bones are next? So for this next animal, I'm not gonna show you the skeleton because I want to make sure that you are drawing for once in your life. So get out that index card, get out that Sharpie, and draw the animal that you think goes along with these clues. I have a simple skeleton with a really long back. The bones in my back make up my spine. My spine lets me bend and curve. Hmm, feels nice. I slither through leaves, dirt, and grass. Where are my legs? Oh, I don't have any. I am not a caterpillar. Who am I? Now, did any of you draw? I did. I drew something that looked like this. And I also went above and beyond and drew this word. That's right. Sam did it too. He drew a snake. Did any of you? Well, this is a snake skeleton. I guess that still makes it a snake. And the outside of the snake's body, in this case, looks like this. This is a reticulated python. All these spine bones make me very flexible. I wriggle my spine to get from one place to the other. Wriggle your spine in the shape of a C. Hmm, nicely done. Whose bones are next? So this is my final animal that I'm gonna to read to you. You know, there's more in this book, but I can't just read the whole thing to any old person out there. This is highly confidential material. So you're gonna to have to hustle yourself over to Books or Magic or your local independent bookstore or your favorite library and say, hi, how are you? I hope you're well. Give me the book. So for the final animal, I really want you to draw this one. I'm serious about this one. The other ones, I didn't really care if you drew, but this one, I find that when kids draw these animals, it's like so freaking cute. Um, so maybe I'll draw it and take a picture of it and send it to me or post it on the internet and say, thanks Gabe for the inspiration. You can thank Sam too and Maya at Fighting. Um, all right, let's go. My big leg bones are heavy. They're heavier than you. They're strong too. They help me stand for hours and hours, even while I sleep. There's actually a lot of animals that sleep standing up. I could never. Clues. My body is covered in thick, wrinkly skin. I love it when kids make their face all wrinkly especially when they're mad, mm, I'm so angry. Mm. I use my trunk, big clue there, to eat lots and lots of grass. I am not a hippopotamus. 
Hmm. You guys think you know? Let me show you the skeleton that Sam drew. And you can see there that this animal's got a tail. A lot of people don't realize that tails have bones in them. Um, I was one of those people before I started researching this book. But yeah, tails have bones, lots, because they move around and do all that. Any part of your body that can move has a bone in it. Um, and Sam's skeleton also has these tusks. Um, so those are some other really big clues. But you can't see the biggest clue, the trunk, because the trunk actually doesn't have bones in it. It has muscles, so that kind of goes against what I was saying earlier, but just go with me. Did any of you draw an African bush elephant? And like giraffes, there's more than one species of elephant, and I chose the African bush elephant because it's the biggest. Um, but, you know, biggest isn't always best. But in this case, it is. I am an African bush elephant. I love my body, my swinging tail, my flapping ears, and my powerful legs. These legs help me walk, trot, and swim. But I can't hop. Can you? Show me. Prove that you are a human and not an elephant by hopping. All right, everybody, this has been really great. And if you've made it this far, you might be surprised that I didn't re-record this video to get rid of the kind of goofier, weirder parts. But this is my fifth recording and I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. I've had fun. I love being in this tent. I know if Sam Brewster was here too, he would have said, I loved it. Um, Cause he's really supportive. So is Maya at Fiden. So thank you all, have fun watching the rest of these videos and drawing animals and maybe you'll make up your own game for me to play sometime. All right, bye, bye books are magic. Thanks for letting me invite myself, bye.